Welcome to our 2021 Limbs Edition launch event. We're here at the wing. I'm Giles English and this is Nick English, co-founders of Bremer Watch Company. And we're here for something incredibly special. It's the next new development in Bremer. It certainly is, and it's a culmination of many, many years of, of hard work. But it came down to our um, mission statement all those years ago when we wanted to play a part in the reinvigoration of watchmaking in this country. And that would take you know, more training, investment and passion than we ever possibly could have imagined at the time. But it was a very exciting journey nonetheless, wasn't it? Yes, and what we want to do is show you the next stage in development to deliver what we believe is a very special limited edition watch. Part of this journey has been about people. It's been about training a lost generation of watchmakers. Watchmaking on any scale really hasn't been seen in this country for probably five decades now. And these people behind we're so incredibly proud of. But it's a very complex business. And although watchmaking is a significant part, it's still a part. And Giles is going to tell you a little bit more about what we're doing on the other side of the building. We're a company all about craftsmanship. But we're also about engineering. To machine and build a mechanical watch, you need the finest engineers. We've got people from lots of different sectors who have joined us and trained in watchmaking. We specialize in cases to begin with. We believe we've become one of the finest case manufacturers in the world. Um, but this next stage in our whole story is so incredibly exciting because we're going to be showing you us building our new movement here at the wing in Henley-on-Thames. So come on through. We're so excited to be presenting the ENG 300 movement to you. The accumulation of all our hard work. And it's great for Bremer and it's fantastic for British watchmaking. so incredibly exciting is that parts of this ENG 300 movement are being manufactured here in Henley on Thames on an industrial scale where the parts are then finished and taken up to assembly for putting into a movement. The ENG 300 movement will be entirely assembled, tested and regulated here at the Manufacturing and Technology Centre. Having acquired the base calibre, the K1 from THE+, we then saw any opportunity to improve its robustness in line with our brand DNA. 55% of this movement is manufactured from raw material here in this building. 80% of it has been intelligently modified by our own in-house technical team. So you've learned all about the ENG 300. The first time that movement will be going into our watch is our new limited edition watch for this year. And to celebrate this, we're working with Greenwich Observatory to launch the Bremer Longitude. We have a little film we want to show you.
The Bremont Longitude pays tribute to Great Britain's role in clock and watchmaking and contribution to time, astronomy and navigation. It has always been Bremont's ambition to bring the art of industrial high-end watchmaking back to British shores. The classic yet contemporary design of the limited edition Bremont Longitude marks a significant milestone in this journey. Not only does the Longitude house the brand's first manufactured movement from its new ENG 300 movement series, but it also incorporates original brass from the historic Flamsteed Meridian line at the Royal Observatory Greenwich, London. 17th century seafarers faced many dangers as they sailed on new trade routes to new colonies to undiscovered places full of promise and profits. The inability to establish longitude caused navigational uncertainty that cost both lives and money. Determined to find a solution, King Charles II founded the Royal Observatory Greenwich in 1675. The first astronomer royal, John Flamsteed, was charged with perfecting the art of navigation at sea. Astronomers believed lunar distances or the positions of Jupiter's moons could be used to determine longitude. Using these methods required an accurate map of the stars. Flamsteed devoted himself to this enormous task using a telescopic instrument to chart nearly 3,000 stars. His legacy was the Historia Coelestis Britannica. Flamsteed's work laid the foundations for accurate timekeeping and navigation. At Greenwich, the brass Flamsteed Meridian Line marks the historic position where he made his observations. By the 18th century, finding longitude at sea remained a mystery. A £20,000 reward worth millions today was offered to anyone who could solve it. As astronomers mapped the stars, an alternative theory involved the use of an accurate portable clock. An amateur clockmaker, John Harrison, dedicated his lifetime to developing exquisite marine timekeepers. As well as accuracy, his intricate timepieces featured significant innovations like the grasshopper escapement, circular caged roller bearing, and bimetallic strip. Many of Harrison's inventions are still in use. His masterpiece was H4, a large pair case watch that defied accepted horological wisdom and maintained accurate time at sea. Harrison is now considered a genius. After his death, other watchmakers continued his work, simplifying his designs and adding their own improvements. Once longitude had been found, it was time to fix the prime meridian. By the late 19th century, the majority of vessels were using charts based on the Greenwich Meridian Line. First established by the astronomers to record their observations, the United Kingdom had now legalized the use of Greenwich Mean Time. Even the United States was using local time based on Greenwich to simplify railway timetables as the International Meridian Conference in 1884 agreed that the world should adopt Greenwich as the center of time and longitude zero. Time was now global rather than local. The 22 jeweled ENG 300 movement boasts an enviable technical specification. Featuring a silicon escapement, the bridges are manufactured with a beautiful yet traditional gilded finish. And the automatic movement is powered by a fully tungsten rotor. Bremont has chosen to utilize a full balance bridge. To fine tune the movement's accuracy, traditional adjustment screws are used on the free sprung balance wheel, a more difficult method of rate adjustment but also more precise, and links back to early marine chronometry. Turning the watch over reveals a custom rotor and balance bridge which have been designed to reflect the architecture of Bremont's state-of-the-art headquarters at the wing, the home of British watchmaking. The original brass from the historic Flamsteed Meridian Line at the Royal Observatory Greenwich, London, can also be seen forming a ring in the back of the timepiece which features the engraved serial number of the watch. With a power reserve of 65 hours, this special timepiece has an indicator at the six o'clock position resembling the Royal Observatory Greenwich's red time ball, a simple yet ingenious visual device that gave 19th century sailors accurate time. The longitude also features a big date function and an offset seconds hand at nine o'clock.
With 150 steel, 75 rose gold, and 75 white gold pieces available, the Longitude is the first limited edition to be produced at the wing and represents an incredible leap forward for British watchmaking. The Bremen Longitude marks the first time any UK movement manufacturing at scale has been done in 50 years, since Smith's in 1971. Bremont is delighted to have formed an ongoing partnership with Royal Museums Greenwich, to whom a portion of proceeds from the limited edition Bremont Longitude will be donated. Great Britain was at the heart of watch and clock making for 150 years. With the super accurate optical atomic clocks developed at the National Physical Laboratory, Great Britain remains at the forefront of time. The Bremont Longitude celebrates the great horological achievements of this nation, both past and present. This watch tells the story of time itself. So you've seen our wonderful partnership with Greenwich Observatory, working with the Bremont Longitude, this lovely new watch we're um, launching. So we've made three watches of the Longitude watches, white gold, rose gold, and steel. And the stainless steel has an anthracite dial, um, off-center second seconds, the power reserve resembling the timing ball uh, within the Royal Observatory, big date, and beautiful applied indexes. I always say on our limited editions, look at the texture on the dial. There's so much time and effort and design and build gone into those dials. Um, if I turn it round, you see Flamsteed's uh, meridian line that we melted down, um, put in the back uh, with the movement numbers uh, on, uh, incorporated. The rotor, the longitude rotor, with a design ethos based on this building, the wing. Three-piece case, and it's the smallest limited edition watch that we built before at 40 mil. Uh, really is very beautiful. Uh, on the white gold, we have a white dial, um, and on the only making 75 of these watches, and on the rose gold anthracite dial with the gold indexes, um, lovely rose gold, and we're only making 75 of these watches. So, as I said before, probably one of the most important limited editions we've ever built um, because of what's gone into it. But historically, working with Greenwich, it really is something um, very poignant for us to be working with the home of time on the Greenwich Meridian. And uh, um, we wanted to do it proud by, by making something beautiful to celebrate that. Um, percentage of the proceeds are going to Greenwich, as with all our limited edition watches. Uh, so yeah, hold one, go and feel it, and uh, um, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you all so much for joining us today for what is a very important limited edition launch for us. As you can see, so much has gone into this. And indeed, if you'd like to come and see this facility where it's all made, please book an appointment online now to come and see the wing. But also, if you want to see the watch, talk to your retailer and go and see it and uh, pick it up and, and feel what's gone into it. But thank you very much indeed for your support today. We'll hopefully see you soon. Really appreciate it. Goodbye.